Hollywood star Adrian Brody and former Formula One ace Mika Salo are in Malaysia to take on one of the toughest, wettest drives on the planet during the monsoon season. Just jammed there, bang. Carving its way through dense jungle, the Uli Sadili Trail is a brutal assault course of lethal mud-filled swamps and chartered river crossings. Oh my God. Unpredictable flash floods. And wildlife that can bite, sting, ow, and kill. Their ultimate goal will be to reach the summit of the Ulu Sedili Hills, the highest point being a 700 meter treacherous mountain of mud. Looks like a wall. Miles from civilization. No way. This is not acting. <laughs> Actor Adrian Brody and former racing driver Mika Salo are in the south of Malaysia bracing themselves for the most daunting road trip of their lives. Hello, hi. Hello. <laughs> As an ex-Ferrari Formula One legend, Salo is more used to the smooth tarmac of an F1 circuit than jungle driving. There's a lot of new things for me, which is, uh, involves driving in the jungle, and uh, of course I've driven a lot of cars, but uh, never in the jungle. And for Adrian, a Best Actor Oscar winner, this promises a whole new radical experience. I'm excited at the prospect of adventure here, and when there's cars thrown into the mix, it just makes it even more enjoyable. Where's this vehicle? Right here? Nice. I'm here to learn, become a better driver. I'm sure there'll be a lot of obstacles, both uh, literal and metaphorical, right? We're going to be relying on this a lot. They're home for the next few days, this especially modified extreme off-road beast. That's awesome. That looks amazing. A 4.2 litre V6 uh, diesel engine. I guess it's enough for the forest. I don't think we need much speed there. No. You see the snorkel? So we'll be this high, I guess, underwater. So what happens when this is above water, but when we're below water? This is the uh, glass breakage device. <laughs> when you're this far underwater. Is there air conditioning? Uh, I think on. they removed the air conditioning because it's too heavy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the car looks the part. Now, the burning question. Who's, who's driving? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. You go. Paper, paper gets the rock. All right, you're driving. That's it. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's do it. All right. Finally moving. Yeah. So last time I was in Malaysia, I went to see Formula One, and then I went off-road driving on quads. And here I am back, and now I'm off-road driving with a Formula One driver. Awesome. Anticipating a bumpy, stomach churning ride ahead, Adrian's leaving nothing to chance. More fucker. More fucker is a traditional product. Keeping it with you while you travel helps to take away dizziness and prevent vomiting. I figured we could use it. Want to try it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is bad. <laughs> now I know why they call it that. Oh, that's disgusting. Adrian and Mika's Ulu Sedili expedition will be extra tough. They'll have to battle 30 kilometers of grueling dirt driving during the height of the monsoon season. Up to 20 inches of rain can fall in a day, turning trickling streams into raging torrents. It should take them three days and nights, but dicing with this unpredictable weather can make the trail impassable. This is definitely one of the most dangerous expeditions I'll have been on. 
The environment is one of the most inhospitable known to man and machine. It's going to be extremely dangerous. To give the boys a fighting chance with their mission, they've recruited Malaysian off-road expert, Jerry Tay. He's requested they meet at a local jungle driving school. You gotta know what to expect from the jungle. The flora and fauna can be dangerous. So knowing what to touch, what not to touch. Try and make more noise than usual to scare the snakes away. All this is the potential dangers of off-roading in the jungle. With so many dangers lurking, driving safely and protecting your vehicle is imperative. Mika and Adrian can learn a lot about off-roading here from local drivers and you know, how to drive in the mud, how to drive a steep hill, deep ruts, how do you cross over a rut. Uh, Knowing the proper hand signals, trusting the people around you. You have to winch off the tree in front of you. Jerry's final lesson is the most important, how to winch safely out of a tight spot. It's essential they master this, as getting stranded deep in the jungle can mean life or death. The biggest thing here is for me to learn all these techniques. Like I got to learn how to use this winch properly. It's good to practice everything possible, so when actually really hit the problems in the jungle, it's, uh, it's good to be prepared. Training over, Adrian and Mika have a 100-kilometer drive to the Ulu Sidili Trail. We're on the edge of civilization now. An ideal opportunity to find out more about your new traveling companion. What, the, what school did you go for acting? I went to uh, American Academy of Dramatic Arts. I took four trains each way to go to school to the worst neighborhoods of Brooklyn, Queens. The insight I gained from character study on all those trains they're learning way more about character and human nature than anything I could have learned in a classroom of those four years. Because yeah. I, you know, in New York, there's like homeless people, yeah. businessmen, gangsters, and, and all walks of life. Everybody packed into these trains. As for Mika, his childhood was dominated by burning rubber. I was five. We were living a, a few miles from one race circuit in uh, Finland, and. Uh, my father put me in the races. I started winning immediately. So one year, I won all 14 races I started. I won a Finnish championship, Scandinavian championship, a European championship, one year. Then I got an offer from Japan to drive Formula 3000 in Japan. And they, that was the first time I was getting paid, like a million and a half for me, for racing. I was, I was only 20 years old. They doubled my salary every year. And, and I did 11 years in Formula 1. Eventually, Adrian and Mika enter the Ulu Sidili Trail. Here we go, up to the jungle. But before they can get stuck into their challenge, the locals insist on a traditional jungle blessing. One is for the jungle spirits, and the other one is for our guardians. Like, we believe that every one of us has a guardian, yeah. right? And basically, just calling, telling our guardians that we are also entering this, this uh, jungle and that come protect us. Okay. Yeah. Good. Let's hope it helps. Yeah, that's good. It normally does. <laughs> good. <laughs> but not on this occasion. It's a heavy rain coming. <laughs> not the best start to a mission which is about to get serious. Ahead is 30 kilometers of the toughest driving on Earth. Oh man, it's gonna be a it's gonna rain monsoon a season. It's gonna rain a lot. They have flash floods here too. Just a few minutes in, there's a problem. They're having to negotiate a network of old logging trails through dense jungle. Rather like an overgrown maze, it's extremely disorientating. I feel like we're going in a circle, just back to the main road where it's over Add torrential rain, and it becomes even harder to stay on course. We are going in a circle, look. 
Look at our GPS. Look. Yeah. That's a complete circle. Unbelievable. <laughs> he turned around again. Uh-oh. We are so lost. The jungle has flummoxed their experienced guide, Jerry. Yes. This won't be so funny if it happens in the depths of the jungle or in the notorious Ulu Sidili Hills. Having lost an hour's precious travelling time, expedition leader Matt McKenney is worried they're falling dangerously behind schedule. We were supposed to cross a river tonight and camp the other side, which is another very, very slow hazard that you have to Oh, run. that sucks. Already, you, this, this could put us behind where we won't even get out in time, if we can get out at all. We haven't even come across the difficult stuff. This has just been a slow, slow warm-up to it. Coming up, nerve-wracking river crossings, mega swamps, and bloodthirsty predators. All threaten the team's mission to reach the infamous Ulu Sidili Hills.